Sometimes it can be hard to figure out and diagnose when something is wrong and that was exactly my case a month back. I had this terrible uneasiness in the whole of my left arm that holding even a mug of water was difficult for me and I just couldn't figure out why it is happening to me. There was numbness in my fingers during the night and I was just not feeling normal during the day. Until I got an appointment with my doctor and she explained this after examination as it was to do with my wrist injury that I had developed with my wrong posture of arms using computers. I do sit for long hours to edit and work with my videos but just a few simple exercises like keeping your hand on shoulder and pushing your elbow a few times to moving your hand on your back up and down a couple of times as much as I can to just walking my fingers up and down to wearing a wrist brace overnight has definitely healed my wrist that now I'm paying a lot of attention to the right posture when I'm working. It's weekend and we are totally in the mood of enjoying different cuisines for the whole day. And the best and easiest one to begin is with English breakfast. It's a lot easy, no hassle and my kids just love it. And so do I when all comes together in one plate without having to put in any effort. I have these ready to use frozen hash browns that I keep just the right count two per head ready to be grilled in the oven. Weekend breakfast can be made a lot appealing to eyes with English breakfast and I can assure you for that. Setting it in the oven for the required time. I'm just following the instructions on the back of the pack. Now I'm planning to make mango smoothie using fresh mangoes. You can use a pulp or frozen mangoes. The taste and the color will definitely vary to what you prefer to choose. I personally prefer the fresh mangoes. Cutting it roughly and in it goes straight into the juicer. I'm adding in just 2 teaspoons of brown sugar, 2 tablespoons of honey, around 3 tablespoons of yogurt, and oat milk to blend. Fresh, healthy, packed with nutrients is this mango smoothie which is all ready. I have two tomatoes that I cut in halves first and then using the chopping board and knife to cut mushrooms. After a good wash, I cut them lengthwise into big chunks as they will shrink in after cooking. It will be perfect for bite size. I'm planning to make sauteed mushrooms which is super quick and can be eaten for breakfast or as a snack or as a sandwich filling as well. In a pan with very little oil, say around a teaspoon is plenty as mushrooms have a lot of water content which will be plenty to get cooked and softened. I keep stirring occasionally and very important to cover to get steamed for faster cooking. Mushrooms are a must in English breakfast and my family just love them except me. I haven't eaten mushrooms as a child so I just struggle to eat them now. But I do cook it and I love cooking it for my family as they are packed and rich in proteins and vitamins and have lots of health benefits. Mushroom usually takes just 10 minutes of the time to get cooked. In the meantime, I arrange with the plates and the cutlery and get ready. Using the baked beans tins or any tins. I always and always make sure to wash the tins before using. In fact, I always give them a wash straight away after the shopping. To the baked beans, I sprinkle in very little of salt and quarter teaspoon of chilli flakes. Giving an Indian touch to lift up the spiciness. Mushrooms are now done and you can see the whole of the water being absorbed. To this, I add in a teaspoon of ghee, very little of pepper powder and salt. That's it. Sorted mushrooms are now done. I've also got butter crozians making the complete English breakfast. On a grilling pan with very little of olive oil, I place the tomatoes which were cut in half. Have you ever tried warming up your crozians before eating? You should give it a try. They taste absolute gorgeous when heated up. The butter melts and tastes fabulous when eaten hot. The tomatoes have got these beautiful grill lines. Warm grilled tomatoes make a perfect combination with the rest of the food. I have just warmed up the baked beans in the microwave before serving. Seeded bread is our favorite when toasted. 
with all the food now ready which hardly took a few minutes of time to make without any effort is always my favorite sometimes it's important and becomes essential to get that break from the normal cooking and eating the same food a little change always makes the whole family happy and plating up anything that you cook whatever it is either indian thali or english breakfast a well presented plate or should i just say um, plating up with love all that you have cooked together in one plate is a treat to the eyes that urges one to have the plate for themselves very tempting to eat and finish off all that is served so for today's breakfast we have grilled tomatoes with hash browns and sauteed mushrooms baked beans with toast and warm croissants at the side served with a glass of fresh mango smoothie and we have these two eagerly waiting for their plates A sprinkle of salt and pepper over the tomatoes is all good. But we can all sit down, enjoy the breakfast together as a family. With an easy English breakfast sorted, we thought of having an Indian lunch. I'm planning to make palak chapatis and dal fry. Once I knead the dough for the chapatis, I can have my very own time to do what I want to. In my Kedwood food processor, I have two cups of chapati ka atta, salt to taste, two teaspoons of ghee. very little of ajwain i have water in a vessel which has now come to a good boil i add in two handful of fresh palak leaves which is washed and ready to use back blanching the palak just for a minute adding the palak puree into the food processor to knead the dough i am adding in just quarter cup of water very little at a time with pala puree has already been added you will have to add in water little at a time to see how much it will take in with the dough now ready i allow it to rest for a couple of hours taking my working position high into consideration i have this ergonomic chair from siho that i'm very much looking forward to assemble today with shreya she loves joining and assembling given anything and i'm the last person on the planet for the same that i can hand over the manual straight away to others hand and be the helping hand but honestly when working together it's always fun and opening new parcels new packages added on additions in the house is always a joy we had this whole of the area just set to arrange and put in all the wrapping straight into the box helped in easily to assemble with not much piling outside A clear space with less things especially when assembling is a lot helpful so we made sure of that the manual literally had just eight simple steps to follow it was that easy with most of it pre-built together all we had to do is just join in bits the handle or the hand rest was all pre-arranged that we had to just join in with the seat We also had our very own little gup shup time. This is exactly what happens when two girls are left all by themselves. Honestly, Shrey is such a great help in all that we do at home. I'm sure every girl is. Feel so blessed to have girls, not just one but two, who look after us more than we do as parents. It's always nice when family members have different interest making it a proper balance. It took 30 minutes of a time to assemble this ergonomic chair which has now become a need not just for me but for every house as most of us are working from home these days. In fact, it's been years now that we are all working from home and keeping the right posture is so important which cannot be neglected. Make sure to check out the link of this ergonomic chair from CEO in the description box. The moment I sit in I can feel so much of difference straight away the seat that can be adjusted and so is the armrest as well backrest to head support that can be adjusted in variety of angles and very important for me is my wrist and its position that I can now sit for long hours of editing without complaining and this was such an easy self assemble ergonomic chair my favorite part instantly became lower end backrest what a beautiful design which is giving so much of comfort straight away without even me feeling the need of this before having the chair but now that i sit i'm having a great feeling of comfort which is actually quite healing 
After an hour's work, I'm here in the kitchen again getting ready to make lunch. Now to make the dal fry, I have half a cup of moong dal that I've washed and have it ready. To this I add in hot boiling water. Moong dal takes in a lot of water, almost 4 times. I have one big onion that I cut a few rings first and then keep them aside to eat it for later as a side. With the remaining onion, I finely chop it with into thin long strips. 2 green chilies, 1 tomato cut in thin long strips and coriander leaves finely chopped. Parallelly, as the moong dal is getting boiled, in a pan, I add in a teaspoon of coconut oil, a teaspoon of cumin seeds which is jeera, green chilli and onion that I saute for a couple of minutes. Occasionally, I keep stirring the moong dal to check if it's softened. Now that the onions have turned slightly brown, I add in a teaspoon of garlic and ginger paste and then the tomatoes. With the moong dal now turned soft, I add it in straight away. Very little of water and 1 eighth teaspoon of turmeric. Salt to your taste, a teaspoon of garam masala and I have turned off the flame. Half a fresh lime and coriander leaves and around 4 tablespoons of cream which is called as kene in Kannada or malai in Hindi. This is a super quick and very 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 tasty version of dal fry that my in-laws make at home. I make this very often at home for its fantastic taste and mm. asking very few ingredients that are almost available at home most of the time. Daylight is all good today that I am loving it. Not very warm but yet because of the sun rays passing through the glass doors it turns pretty warm inside that I am opening the door today whilst cooking. Yay! Let the sun shine more. Now to the onion rings I sprinkle in salt, fresh lime juice and very few coriander leaves. Seriously, it's weekend and I can get annoyed with the constant telly being on at home. The natural colour of palak has built in so beautifully in the dough. I just make small balls keeping them ready to roll. Dust them in with flour as and when needed to roll into chapati size. I have rolled all the chapatis at once so that we will get to eat hot chapatis. Kids have finally gone to take the shower. They will be here very soon. With very little of oil on both the sides, I just placed the rolled chapatis onto the tawa making garma garam palak chapatis. This dal fry is a great combination with chapatis and tandoori roti. Dal fry and palak chapatis, an Indian lunch that will fill us up completely for a long time. And weekends are indeed quite long when we have the whole family at home for breakfast, lunch, snack and dinner. We thought we should be embracing all cuisines just as enjoying all the colours of Holi. And now that it is going to be Holi soon, what to wear is always a big question for us ladies. Saris that belong to me and my mother-in-law. And we both had one sari which looks very much alike with the colour combination and to be honest, there are so many saris that we hardly wear with the change in trend, style and fashion and time that it becomes really hard to pull up a sari now which was okay to wear a few decades back. And I feel it's a pain to see them not to be used. This sari is flowy and has that little glitter and shine whereas this one is more like a spun material, not flowy. So I prefer to use this sari in making a dupatta. Now this sari which was bought nearly around 20 years back or so is partitioned like the pallu and the rest of the sari. Now when you are making a dupatta we need it to be well aligned on the whole with its design and pattern so I will have to work from the inner side not the pallu. So when it comes to working from the inside the problem is the fall that is being attached. I will have to work on this. All I do is just measure up on my shoulders from both the sides and then I just cut it with its beautiful colours all in one, making it perfect for Holi. I cannot let go of using my chair, not just for editing, but personally loved it even for stitching. We ladies spend hours when stitching anything. And having a super comfy padded seat in W-shaped design, making it all easy to sit in the centre. The breathable mesh at the back is so flexible that you feel relaxed giving you a cooling effect and a very comfortable sitting experience that I could even raise my legs. 
with the fall taken out completely, I stitched the end by giving it a fold using my sewing machine. It was that simple in creating a tupatta for this holi using a very old sari which was not which was just in the cupboard not even been used and now with this transformation i am happy if i will be using this fabric in a different form which is super easy to make for anyone watching this video it's snack time in the evening and we have mexican quesadillas on mind with salad this is a pack of ready to eat salad leaves if you want to make this at home, you can add rocket leaves, spinach leaves, beetroot thins. To this, I add cherry tomatoes, which are cut in halves, cucumbers cut in halves, a few carrot slices, pomegranate seeds, sweet corn. To make the dressing for the salad, half a fresh lime, salt to taste, pepper powder, chili flakes and a teaspoon of honey. I will add in the dressing just before serving. Quesadillas are super quick to make, making it perfect for kids birthday parties with lots of cheese as the main ingredient. And we all know how much kids love cheese. I have these wholemeal wraps and mozzarella and cheddar cheese. You can use any combination of cheese together. Choose your favorite cheese to combine. Different varieties of cheese will taste great. I load cheddar on one half of the wraps and other layer with mozzarella. For Shreya's quesadilla, I sprinkle in chili flakes and I just leave it on its own for Sanika's. Folding it up to cover. On the grilling pan with a little spread and I place the wraps, smearing more spread on the top. You can use any pan you have at home, not necessarily you have to use a grilling pan. We want the cheese to be nicely melted and the top of the wrap to be slightly crispy. A very simple and easy and very very tasty Mexican quesadillas should be eaten and enjoyed hot. I add in the dressing now and just give a mix. Kids are always hungry and kids always like anything served cheesy, isn't it? A very simple snack that is super quick to make. Cheesy Mexican quesadillas. One pot meal is something that I always like to have at night. Italian risotto is what I have on mind. Flavorful, delicious, simple and easy all in just one pot. With not much cooking and cleaning to do. Now to make the vegetarian risotto, I prefer using arborio rice and vegetables such as broccoli, carrots, beans and onions. This is something that we use regularly. And broccoli is something that have always been my favorite in risotto. I cut them into florets and carrots into thick short strips. Cutting them and having them all ready is the best way to finish off the cooking once started on the hob. And beans, I cut them in lengthwise. I've also got one big onion, 20 grams of ginger and one garlic clove which is all finely chopped. In a big pot, I add in olive oil, say around 2 tablespoons. To this, I add in chopped garlic and chopped ginger that I saute until they are aromatic. I add in onions. Now I give it a good stir just for a minute. We don't want them to be sauteed. They will be cooked with the rice and the rest of the vegetables. All of them, all the vegetables in goes together at once. I have measured a cup of arborio rice, perfect for the family of four. This rice is very different in texture and taste, making a whole lot different in risotto that it will be really nice if you use this particular rice. But if you wish to try the risotto recipe, you can use the normal Sona Masiri rice as well. That will taste good as well. We make risotto many a times using both the rice, the normal Sona Masuri rice and particular rice for risotto, which is Arborio rice. And we are absolutely fine with either. Adding in plenty of water until the rim of the vessel, a vegetable stock and then I cover to let it start cooking. I keep stirring it occasionally every now and then and cover up the lid again. Chili flakes, pepper powder and cheese are a great sprinkle on that I keep ready on the dining. In the meantime, I keep the bowls and spoons ready as well. It takes around 15 minutes time to get the rice and the vegetables cooked.
I have turned off the flame, adding in salt and pepper powder to taste. And then comes the cream, the main super ingredient, making it all delicious that you can slurp up the bowl too. I love the idea of keeping a very easy, tasty dinner in one pot. The whole family is happy with different cuisines that we enjoyed for the whole day. Shreya loves to sprinkle in chili flakes, whereas Sanika loves to sprinkle in cheese powder. And me, lot of chili flakes. The whole family is happy with different cuisines that we enjoyed for the whole day. With the festival of Holi approaching, hope you all are getting ready with your colors and festival vibes. Enjoy the festival with lots of colors, lots of happiness and lots of joy in all your lives. Thanks for watching this video.